Hi, have you heard about edge delivery services or Franklin or Helix or document based authoring? If you did not, no worries. I'll talk about in detail in this series about edge delivery services. Before we move on further, let me read a official piece of documentation. With edge delivery services, AEM deliver exceptional experience that drive engagement and conversion. AEM does so by delivering high impact experiences that are fast to author and develop. AEM is a well established product and optimized product to build site. It has a streamlined process of authoring and development. Then what does it mean with edge delivery services? Let me read the further with edge delivery services author can update and publish content quickly and new sites are launched rapidly. As such, with edge delivery services, you can improve conversion, reduce cost and provide extreme content velocity. What does it mean? AEM already has an authoring process where authors can create content, publish content and quickly create the new pages or new sites. Then how does it make a difference with edge delivery services? Now, you must have few questions after reading this documentation. What is that? What is edge delivery services? How it improve or enhance AM and AM's content authoring experience? Each edge delivery services a new feature or module for AM or, a, or AM as a cloud. Is edge delivery service a new product from Adobe Experience Cloud like if it is a new product like we have in uh, Adobe Target, Adobe Analytics, in Adobe Experience Cloud. Or it is an entirely new product which can be integrated with AEM. Let me ask you answers to few questions, right? Yes, Edge Delivery Service is part of AEM as a cloud service. I'm saying part of AEM as a cloud service. It is an individual module functionality or CMS, whatever you want to call it, in AEM as a cloud service and not dependent on AEM published tier or AEM tier. You can build, run, author a website with edge delivery services without AEM, means without AEM tier, whether it's a author tier or published tier. It can be integrated with AEM author tier to create content site authoring. However, AEM author is not mandatory for creation content. Means it is AEM author tier is not mandatory to create content for a website. Important part here is important point here is authoring. It support a new way of site authoring called document based authoring. And we'll see that in detail throughout this series. We'll see the development part of it and the conceptual part of it. Now, how AEM as a cloud service work now? So we have a author tier and we have a published tier. Author tier is used to create content. Published tier is used to serve content to end user. Now, with edge delivery services, how this functionality fits in, in AEM as a cloud service? So edge delivery services sits parallel to AEM tier, means AEM author tier and published tier. And this edge delivery service can run a website without AEM published instance, right? Without AEM published tier. It has all the capability and infrastructure where it can run a website only and only with edge delivery services. Now the question is how we create content for edge delivery service. So for this we have a specific process called document based authoring. What is this document based authoring? So we create content using a most commonly used tools. We can create content using Google Docs or Microsoft Docs. Means I can create content using Google Docs or Microsoft Word. I, if I want to store some more information, I can use Google Spreadsheet or Microsoft Excel as well. But now question is, if these are individual, right? I don't need AM tier at all to run a website using edge delivery services. Then why do I have everything in as part of AM as a cloud service? So Adobe wants to keep it together as a single product, right? It's AM as a cloud service now have AM 
AMTS as well as delivery service. But there is a one catch. You can run your existing AEM websites on Edge Delivery Service as well. Means your existing website content can also be used on Edge Delivery Service. But you cannot use existing service straightforward, right? You need Adobe's help to make your existing site compatible for Edge Delivery because Edge on Edge Delivery the DOM is very simple. Here we use only CSS and vanilla JavaScript for the fast processing so to make your site available or compatible for edge delivery we use a universal editor and that universal editor is available as a vip customer if your clients is take some additional services then only this editor is available you need adobe's help as well to make your existing site compatible for edge delivery service now let's understand your structure of edge delivery services means architecture at a high level again i will explain this at a high level in coming tutorial at end of the series i'll explain one more time the entire structure once you understand how it works so at the architecture this franklin or edge delivery service is based on serverless microservice architecture each individual service is designed to be a single purpose and the connections between the different services make the overall architecture means these services can communicate together to achieve a big functionality and that makes a this architecture all this inner service communication is based on HTTPS means inter service communication happen using HTTPS as well because each service is built in a different git repo I'll show you once we get into the development tutorials again it is composable set of services that enable a rapid development environment so composable is a generic word which means you can develop individual services or module which can run individually but they can integrate or communicate together to achieve a big functionality and that's the principle of this serverless microservice architecture so this is the edge delivery services architecture at a high level it can have three layers the upper layer is client infra the middle layer is actually edge delivery services which is microservice based serverless infrastructure built on cloud the bottom layer is authoring layer where we create content for edge delivery service so in the bottom layer we have multiple ways of creating content we can use aem authoring to create content obviously with help of uh, adobe which uh, universal editor now we have third party content as well we'll talk about that later the important and the main source of the content for the edge delivery service is document based authoring and using document based authoring you can create content using google docs or microsoft docs as i explained you can use google doc google spreadsheet or microsoft word and excel to create content and store some information and additional data and you see two more logos here slack and teams so these can be used to communicate with adobe if you are implementing or if you are working on actual client project adobe helps you to give answer to your question at, as it is a new product so in that case you can install boot or you can create channels with adobe to get or, pa or pass on information code your code and configuration always stay in github repo and that code is moved to uh, edge delivery services whenever needed now let's come to edge delivery services it has storage and computing and cdn both all three right i'll talk about at at a high level and later in coming tutorial we'll see that in detail so bottom part is called content hub this content hub is storage so this is used to store your assets uh, content and code and configuration it is divided in three sections or we used to call it buses so asset and media it contain all your assets videos or whatever your assets are content section it contain structured or unstructured content and code section contain your code and configuration we used to call it in standard terminologies buses means media bus content bus 
and code bus so to process this content means we have let's say for example i have google docs to process the google doc and transform in hypermedia or html which is ready for rendering there are services microservices we which we call pipeline services we'll see that in detail so these pipeline or pipe are responsible for transforming your content to hypermedia and then we have a delivery network or edge delivery called cdn so here we have three type of cdn that i'll talk about in this tutorial later existing client infrastructure so basically client can use its own infrastructure on top of edge delivery services infrastructure let's say client has its own cdn so client can use its own cdn on top of edge delivery services cdn so for information we have three cdn here one is client and two for edge delivery and the combined together we used to call it edge we'll see that in coming tutorial means coming slides now this entire edge delivery infrastructure is implemented twice means we have two stacks of edge delivery services right so one is aws means this one stack is implemented on aws where s3 is used for storage means s3 is used for the content hub and lambda function are used for processing or computing fastly is used as a cdn for this stack another one stack is on cloudflare where r2 is used for the storage and worker if i'm not wrong worker is used for the computing and cloudflare cdn is used for the cdn content hub as i already explained this is for the storage so this is content hub is a content store optimized for delivery that is used amazon s3 or cloudflare r2 it store all the needed content and configuration and code this is divided in three sections as i told you media bus content bus and code bus now apart from the storage there's a four main section of this edge delivery service which i have already explained but let me explain now in detail so that you can understand and these are the standard terms a standard if you go to the documentation you will see the same term one is edge basically which edge delivery uh, pipe basically the pipeline and authoring section and development section or dev section so edge is delivery through edge computing platform or cdn that is called edge pipe is basically the pipeline services which i already explained you Ma this markdown based content transformation into hypermedia at a high level you can understand this is the functionality of service which actually transform your documents to hypermedia or renderable content means html author is we use google docs or uh, microsoft word for content creation dev is important here development workflow front end code and configuration we have but these code and configuration stay in github repo keep in mind we don't have any back end code for edge delivery services now the edge cdn as i said there are three type of cdn we have as part of edge delivery services one is customer cdn which i showed you the top layer of that diagram we used to call it bio cdn means bring your own cdn this is standard term so client can have its own cdn and it can work on top of existing cdn other than that we have two other cdn which outer cdn and inner cdn so if you see here these two outer cdn and inner cdn are part of edge delivery services but this customer cdn is part of customer infrastructure so all together three makes it edge there is a fundamental difference here outer cdn store your live content means whatever the content that is on live site or ready to live inner cdn is used for the content which is ready for preview only preview we'll see that what is this live and preview later and then uh, again i will explain this later in some other tutorial there are two 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 here two cdn which are used for the cache as well this client cdn is used for the uh, caching outer cdn is also used for caching but inner cdn is not used for caching right so there is a two level caching at one at customer level another one is outer cdn internal cdn is not used for caching 
now the pipeline pipe or pipeline services as i said this is the main delivery functionality is provided by pipelines right there are multiple pipelines the main pipeline is helix hyphen pipeline service which uses helix hyphen html pipeline framework to render html and render filter json directly in nutshell for now only remember like pipeline are responsible for main functionality transform your existing document to hypermedia or html right we'll see that in detail later pipe as i said right we have two buses code bus and content bus so how it work the pipeline services pull the code and configuration from code bus and publish content from the content bus right pipeline service run on aws lambda in case of aws cloud and it uses worker in case of cloudflare worker if i'm not wrong i'll add comment if it's some other name another important section is authoring which i have already explained so authoring here authoring authoring can be three ways means you can create content three ways google docs in google drive microsoft docs in sharepoint and third party sidekick this is very important this is the extension to your browser this is used to publish unpublish delete your content so this is really really important we'll see that what is that slack bot as i already explained if you're working on existing real project means client project so there is a communication channel you can start with adobe and your team as it's a new product so adobe team can be uh, give answer to a question they support actually while in development process so here you can use slack channel and you can install some boot as well in that channel right so this is for communication code uh, what do you have for a exist you know run a website you must have a github repo you can have a gmail account means you can use either google drive as i said google docs so if you're using google docs you need to have google drive if you're using microsoft documents then you should have a sharepoint account now now franklin github boot what is this this is basically used to sync your code from your repo to edge delivery services we will see that in demo again slack boot is used for communication between your team and adobe team so this was just a high level of edge delivery services i know it's it you if you did not understand this completely fine this completely okay we'll have a complete long series where we'll see the development part of it as well and later on i will again explain all the infrastructure with internal modules or internal functionality of edge delivery services so if you understood 20 to 30 percent it's completely all right if you have any question which would you have please add in comments thank you